Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm Raf again. Um, this video is basically a bit overdue. Should have done it a few months ago. We've just been really busy in the workshop. So if you follow us on social media, you're probably aware we own an F90 M5 competition. It's my daily driver. Done a few mods to the car. And recently we carried out a full audio upgrade on the car, which is what we bought it for in the first place. So this car left BMW with the Harman Kardon um, audio system. And if you're somebody who owns a BMW, you'll probably agree the Harman Kardon is not a very nice sounding system. It's very boomy, it's not very clear, very tinny as well, um, the treble. And there's just no sort of um, staging to the audio whatsoever. You can just literally tell where the sound's coming from. The speakers aren't mounted in the best places, so it doesn't really help. So the idea was to upgrade the audio system. And in fact, we've actually got two audio systems running in this car. So we've got system one and system two. The main system, so system one, is my daily driver. It's what I listen to day on, you know, pretty much every single day. It sounds fantastic. And what that does is we've utilized all orders and equipment. We've replaced the door speakers. Comprehensive sound deadening has gone into the doors. To sound deaden these doors properly, the glass does have to come out. So it's all come out in-house. We do all that in-house. Uh, sound deaden the doors, three-stage sound deadening. The speakers have now got a fantastic environment to play in. Uh, we've used all stock locations because I didn't want to modify the car in any way. I wanted it to all look absolutely original like most of our customers do. So speakers in the doors, tweeters in the original positions behind the um, original mirrors, and I'll show you that with some overlaid footage. The whole system is running off the original BMW head units, all my multimedia, Apple CarPlay, everything works as normal. So system one is speakers in the doors, We've got replacement underseat woofers because these cars leave BMW with some six inch underseat woofers. Uh, and they sound awful, they're not very good. So we've replaced them with the Audison eight inch underseat woofers. Uh, we've left the rear speakers in the rear doors stock actually. Uh, I was gonna upgrade them, but a lot of customers like to leave them stock. So I thought I'd leave mine stock just so if anybody wants a system, they can listen to a car and you know, have an idea of exactly how their car would sound. So factory rear door, rear door speakers. We're running all of this off an eight channel Audison amplifier. Now this uh, amplifier has got a DSP built in so it allows us to time align the whole system and set the EQ to exactly how we want. We bit tune the car so we've got some an Audison uh, setup device which really, really makes life easier. And then we fine tune it by ear and the end result is fantastic. The car sounds brilliant. Um, I listen to a lot of R&B, a lot of reggae. So I listen to all types of music and this car plays absolutely everything. Uh, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. So that generally is our go-to system in BMWs. But then we occasionally get some customers coming in who I'd call bass heads who like a bit more bass and they want a little bit more. Um, I was probably a little bit like this myself a few years ago, but now system one is perfect. So what I've actually done in the boot of the car is we've installed two shallow mount Audison subwoofers uh, in a custom built sealed enclosure. And then we fabricated a panel to make it look all pretty. So it all looks like it's a part of the boot. See a lot of people who do BMW upgrade and they just throw a subwoofer in the boot, a box, and you know, it just looks thrown in. I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to look like it's supposed to be there. It doesn't take up a lot of room in the boot as well. The box itself is probably only eight inches deep at that. So it doesn't take up a lot of room behind the rear seats. So I can, through a little controller, turn on system two, which basically makes the under seats play more like mid bass drivers. And then the two tens take, uh, uh, take care of all the low end bass. And when they kick in, it's, it's really, really loud, really bassy, feel it in your chest. So generally if I'm out with the kids, they'll have them switched on. Or if I'm in the mood of listening to it really loud, I'll turn the two 10 inch subs on. And the nice thing with the system is, um, recently, you know, I went for a long drive, I did the NC500. I actually removed the two 10 inch uh, subwoofers just to have my full boot room back, just because there was quite a few of us going, I needed the space. And the system works flawlessly with or without. So this car is here pretty much every day. It's designed as a demo car, so book a consultation, come down, have a listen to the car, and you know, then you can actually get a feel of exactly what the car will sound like. We own a lot of demo cars down here. So we've got a few classic cars. We've got this, we've got an Abarth. We work on a lot of Abarths down here. So we've got quite a few cars down here. And generally they're here most days. So book yourself in for a consultation. Come down and speak to us. Have a listen to one of the demo cars. Bring your phone, plug it in. When you book in for a consultation, you know, we give you time. We let you listen to your own music in our cars. And that way you'll get a real feel of exactly what we can do in your car. If anybody out there wants an audio upgrade in their car, BMW, Mercedes, VW, supercar, whatever, drop us a shout, you know, we can pretty much design a bespoke system for you. Drop us a shout, guys.